Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. An intruder interrupts Bill and Poppy's lovemaking, and Ridge and Brooke fly out without Steffi. Ridge protests on the Forester jet that they will be late for their meeting with the prince. Brooke wonders if Steffi has changed her mind about joining them. Ridge growls that she hasn't changed her mind and wonders what is stopping her. At the inspection, Steffi goes through her bags. Items are flying everywhere as Deuce, the pilot, catches her bra and awkwardly returns it to her. Steffi can't figure out where her passport has gone. She phones Ridge on the plane and says she's arrived, but she can't find her passport. Ridge instructs her to pass the phone to Deuce. He tells the pilot that there is something they can do. Deuce informs him that if they do not depart soon, they would miss their landing time and rendezvous with the prince. Steffi takes the phone back and urges her father to depart without her. Do Steffi bed and breakfast. Hope clutches Steffi's passport at Forrester and recalls following her down with it after she closed the elevator doors. Hope sighs, I did try. She thinks aloud that the jet should be taking off soon, without Steffi on board. Carter walks in and Hope hides the passport. Carter teases her about being behind the large desk. Your secrets are safe with me. Ridge, Brooke, and Steffi should have already taken off. Hope twitches her lip when she notices the protruding corner of Steffi's passport. Carter understands that Hope intended this trip to be just her mother and Ridge. Hope responds that if Steffi wants to be a third wheel, who is she to stop her? Carter feels the trip is important and understands why she wants to go. Hope explains that it's all about Brooke's bedroom. Carter believes Steffi is the co-CEO. Hope asks if there is anything he requires. Carter is taken aback and turns to leave. Hope stops him. She didn't mean it that way. You're right, it would be a shame if Steffi wasn't there. More B&B's other Thomas comes back. In Lee's office, she questions Katie about her suggestion that Poppy was involved in the overdoses at I.L. Giardino. Katie explains that Lee's sister does drugs, and she discovered that she once knew Tom Starr. By the way, she gets really defensive when I ask her about that. Katie genuinely wants to know what Lee thinks. Is it possible Poppy is responsible for Tom and Hollis' deaths? Lee declined to give her credit. Katie is frustrated. Lee claims she has broken up marriages and relied on wealthy men, but she does not believe she is capable of what she suggests. Katie has heard that Poppy is a manipulator and believes that is what she is doing to Bill. She points her that Tom Starr was performing the night Luna was born. Lee says, Katie enough. She is 100% positive that Bill is Luna's father. Poppy informs Bill in his living room that she formerly had a connection with Tommy Starr. Bill explains that she didn't want to inform him since the guy could have been Luna's father. Poppy sobs. I'm sorry I didn't tell him. I should have. Bill is having difficulties wrapping his brain around this. You're admitting that Tom Starr could have been Luna's father? Poppy says. Yes. Bill turns away. Poppy grips his shoulder pleading that her heart has always belonged to him. Please tell me you understand that. Poppy Bill bed and breakfast. Bill returns to face Poppy and tells her that he can't believe what he's hearing and that he's only now realized it. I can only imagine what you were going through. It must have been dreadful to have Tom Star pursuing her for years while she was trying to raise her kid. You were concerned that this guy was stalking you and could be Luna's father. You did not want it for her, and I entirely understand. Poppy rushes herself into his arms, relieved. I promise I will never keep anything from you again. Deep down, she knew he was Luna's father. Katie is agitated, and Lee can see it in her office. She recognizes her disappointment and fury. Katie wonders why she cannot see the truth. Lee reminds her that she took the paternity test herself. My sister and Luna are now part of the Spencer family. More, Liam's new storyline. At Bill's house, he explains that Lee administered the paternity test. More. A beloved BNB family member dies. As Hope inquires as to what is going on, Steffi begins to search the desk. Steffi asks, Am I losing my mind? What is going on? She retrieves her passport and informs Hope. I couldn't board the plane without it. Hope wonders if Ridge and Brooke left without her. Steffi assures Hope that she did get what she wanted. My father and Brooke on a plane to Monte Carlo without me. In Lee's office, 
she informs Katie that while she is not her sister's biggest admirer, she is not a killer. If there was any foul play between Tom and Hollis, Sheila Carter was to blame. Katie points out that she has already been questioned and released. Lee claims that if there is a killer, he or she is still out there. More. Will YNR stars go BNB? Someone is lurking downstairs at Bill's house. Poppy and Bill are sitting on the edge of the bed, agreeing never to mention Tom Star again. Poppy tells him he's changed her and Luna's lives. She gushes about how grateful she is for the man he has become and the father he already is. He's the missing piece of the puzzle. I am so happy that we're a family. Bill is too. Nothing will rip them apart. They kiss passionately before Bill lays her back on the bed. Someone approaches the door and opens it. Poppy screams terrible murder. Bill returns to face Poppy and tells her that he can't believe what he's hearing and that he's only now realized it. I can only imagine what you were going through. It must have been dreadful to have Tom Starr pursuing her for years while she was trying to raise her kid. You were concerned that this guy was stalking you and could be Luna's father. You did not want it for her, and I entirely understand. Poppy rushes herself into his arms, relieved. I promise I will never keep anything from you again. Deep down, she knew he was Luna's father. Katie is agitated, and Lee can see it in her office. She recognizes her disappointment and fury. Katie wonders why she cannot see the truth. Lee reminds her that she took the paternity test herself. My sister and Luna are now part of the Spencer family. More, Liam's new storyline. At Bill's house, he explains that Lee administered the paternity test, and everyone knows she didn't want him to be Luna's father. He has no doubt about that. Poppy claims he fascinates her. She describes how when she saw him again, all of her barriers were up, but he broke them down again. She has enjoyed every minute since then. He has been kind, generous, and understanding to her and her daughter. Bill says her and Luna are very important to him. He understands how difficult it must have been for her to tell him about this individual from the past. Bill thinks she understands that Katie is simply being protective, because they share a son. Just know that I believe you. They embrace. Poppy Bill bed and breakfast. The Forrester plane is currently in the air, and Ridge is devastated that Steffi did not make the voyage. Brooke does not appear as disappointed. Ridge moans, this trip is important to Steffi, she should be there. Brooke adds, well we're on our way, and we're going to have a great time in Monte Carlo. Very magical. Only the two of us. At Bill's house, he explains that Lee administered the paternity test, and everyone knows she didn't want him to be Luna's father. He has no doubt about that. Poppy claims he fascinates her. She describes how when she saw him again, all of her barriers were up, but he broke them down again. She has enjoyed every minute since then. He has been kind, generous, and understanding to her and her daughter. Bill says her and Luna are very important to him. He understands how difficult it must have been for her to tell him about this individual from the past. Bill thinks she understands that Katie is simply being protective, because they share a son. Just know that I believe you. They embrace.